Well, spring is busting out all over Atlanta. It's a little late this year because we had an unusually cold March, but uh, Minnesota got a foot of snow last night, so definitely not complaining. Spring in Atlanta seems to last forever. I always think of spring essentially starting the beginning of March and lasting at least until the middle of June. It might be a little cold some days or a little hotter in other days, but you know, spring really feels like it lasts about four months in Atlanta. If you watch my previous short video about winter in Atlanta, which I'll link up at the top for you, we talked about how many really lovely days we get in January. And as it turns out, by the end of January, you almost always see the daffodils poking their heads out of the ground. And by the middle of February, we always see tulips and winter cherry blossoms. And you think, ah, spring is finally here. Well, not quite. There's always a week where winter seems to snap back in, but it's usually not below freezing or occasionally we get some very, very light frosts. It's most often what I call 40 degrees and raining and raining and raining. It's not my favorite, but it's certainly nothing like the bitter cold you get in Chicago. I spent a few years up there and Atlanta almost never gets that cold. We did, however, have a nine degree cold snap on Christmas Eve Eve this year. And I honestly couldn't remember the last time it got that cold, so I looked it up and I had to go all the way back to January of 2015 to find a comparable winter low. Single digit temperatures are very rare in Atlanta. So back to spring, February always seems to be promising spring, but winter always fights back a little bit. Even then the average winter low in Atlanta in February is only 33 degrees, so it's not even below freezing. That's pretty nice. January and February is also camellia season. If you don't know camellias, it's a small tree with thick glossy leaves and gorgeous rose-like flowers. We have several in our yard and they are always spectacular in bloom. One sad thing is that nine degree low in December kept us in a deep freeze for two days and it zapped all the camellia buds. So we had very few flowers this year. Once March rolls around, then the azaleas and the dogwoods all burst into flower. These are really the spring flowers that most people associate with Atlanta, and the city is just so lovely when they are in bloom. At the same time, our Atlanta forest starts to leaf out and we get incredible amounts of pollen. A rainy March like we've had this year washes most of the pollen away, but a dry March means you will see clouds of pollen blowing through the air. Even if you don't have allergies, the incredible volume of pollen can make your eyes feel gritty and your throat scratchy. But with all the rain this March, we hardly noticed it. So if you have allergies, pray for spring rain. Spring is also first fall in Atlanta. The oak trees make these catkins, which are the male flowers that produce the pollen. This stuff falls out of the trees and covers up my cars and my roof and driveway with these thick tumbleweeds. It's a prelude to fall when these same oaks dump millions of pounds of leaves. It's not unusual to still be cleaning up the fall leaves around Christmas. Spring rains can be really intense in Atlanta, and it's not uncommon to wake up and have a torrential downpour in the morning, and by noon, the sun is shining and the birds are singing. Now, one of my favorite places in Atlanta any time of the year, but especially during the spring, is the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. Every spring, they have an incredible tulips display, an amazing orchid exhibit in the conservatory, and huge sculptures made out of plants. Be sure to check out the Atlanta Botanical Gardens when you get the chance. So as always, if you're thinking of making the move to Atlanta, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the box below. Love to talk to you. Thanks for watching.